Prayer for Grace at Work. The Bible says in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 23 through 24, Whatever you do, work at it with your whole being, for the Lord and not for men, because you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as your reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. What a privilege it is to be called a child of God and to have been transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son, the kingdom of light, simply because of God's amazing grace, which has been poured out on us in abundance through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The King's Man Redeemer, who became a sin sacrifice in my place, in your place so that we could be made right with God with all of our heart father we thank you we are not worthy to gather up the crumbs underneath your table and yet you have clothed us with Christ's righteousness thank you for your amazing grace in making me making us a child of God and a partaker in the high heavenly calling. We humble ourselves and pray, my Father. As ambassadors of heaven, we pray that we may reflect Christ's beauty and grace to others. My Father, we pray, Christ, that we may be seen so that others may see you in us and be drawn to you, Christ. We pray that we may decrease in the sight of others so that you may increase in every area of our lives. Prayer for grace at work, loving the Lord and thanking him and praising him for our job every single day, for the place of work, the sphere of influence that he has provided, that he has given us. You have been so gracious, Lord, in providing for our families, for ourselves, for everything concerning our needs. Our job is a major part of that grace, my Father. Grace that allows me to go to work every day. Grace that allows me to collect the paycheck every week, every two weeks. Grace that puts food on the table. Grace that allows me to make a living and feed our families. We pray that we will be good witnesses with our coworkers as well as with management. We pray that your grace would bring the fragrance of the Lord Jesus into our workplace, my Father, so that others would want to know the beauty of Christ, this amazing, beautiful person that lives by his spirit inside of us. so that they may come to the saving grace and faith in the Lord Jesus. Give us the strength, my Father, and the stamina to work well and produce our best job to your praise and to your glory. Give us the wisdom in the decision that we may be called upon to make or give a gracious explanation as to our faith in us to our joy by our co-workers by someone at work my father that we will be able and we will be prepared to give the account of our joy give us a gracious attitude my god a gracious attitude of patience a gracious attitude of mercy give us a gracious attitude my father of considering the other person and not only ourselves. Give us a gracious attitude, my God, of seeing other people's faults, my Father, and not judging them. Being able to live with one another during our work hours, my God. For some, we spend 
more hours in the workplace than we do our homes and with our families. And so the people at work sometimes become our families. Let us see their flaws, my God, because everyone has flaws, but give us the grace in our hearts to be able to forgive them, to be able to pray for them, to be able to extend the mercy and the kindness that you extend to us, my Father. The beauty of the person of Christ. Surrounding us and surrounding our workplace, surrounding our departments. May Christ be in every person that I see. May Christ be in every person that I hear. And if they're not in Christ, let Christ his love and his grace surround them and embrace them and bring them to repentance and bring them to a metamorphosis of before and after, before and after. The, the new man, the old man passed away, the new man is here. Let them have my father an encounter with you, a revelation. As we go to our workplace every single day, my Father, give us the words that are filled with wisdom in order to speak with our coworkers, to speak with management. Give us the patience, give us the serenity, give us the equanimity, Lord God, and help us to realize that we should not react, but be proactive in becoming better every single day. It is not becoming better at our jobs, it is becoming better at our person. Help us, my Father, to cover the mistakes and the sins of other people, my Father and help us not to expose our co-workers, my God, and help us to have a clean heart that we do not feel excited or happy when another person falls to the ground because it makes us look better. It makes us look like we have it together. My Father, help us to not Father God, kick the, the tree that has fallen, the branches that has fallen from the tree. Help us to not kick a man that is down, my Father. Help us to realize, my Father, that we may be in that position one day. And as we extend grace, grace as we extend mercy, as we extend forgiveness, my Father, that you, my God, will extend it to us as well. Because truly God, it's seed time and harvest in everything that we do. My Father, we're gonna reap what we sow. If we sow mercy, we're going to reap mercy. If we sow grace, we are going to reap grace. My Father, if we sow in love, we are going to reap love, my God. Thank you, my Father. Give us the grace, my God, to bear any ridicule or any jokes that are sometimes made at our expense because we are trusting in you, Jesus. Help us to learn to rejoice in everything. Help us even in those occasions when we are treated differently or ignored due to our Christian faith. Help us, Lord God, to know and to understand my Father, that not everyone is in the same place. Not everyone is walking in the grace of knowing you. Not everyone, my Father, has grown. And therefore, we extend mercy. We do not get an attitude on the contrary. If they, if those persons in our job 
speak to us in the wrong way or speak to us in a cutting, rejecting, rude manner, we will go to them in a very correct, gentle, kind way and not get an attitude of anger or unforgiveness towards them. Because truly it is love that leads a man to repentance. It is love, not Bible thumping and not treating people the wrong way or getting angry because they don't accept us. I believe that love, true love, has no judgment, it has no torment because where love is, torment cannot exist or fear cannot exist. Perfect love cast out fear. And so we are in Christ and the love of Christ is perfected in us, it is in us, and we can live a life without fear, fear of man, fear of what man is going to say, fear of not being accepted and being rejected. So we can stand our ground with the utmost respect. Give us the courage and the grace to share the gospel of those who are willing to listen, those who are interested in the gospel, my Father. Help us to share it, to share the good news of salvation, even in our workplace even in those places that we go for whatever service we are receiving. My God, the barber shop, the beauty parlor, wherever we go, let us be a fragrance of God's grace. Whoever we speak to and as we enter a place, help us to leave it better than we found it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives, send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.